Hello everybody, this is Satya here and today I would like to have a bit of a conversation with myself and to whoever is watching this about a sense of separation and also a sense of unity. I've been feeling a strong connection lately between my, some people call it the higher self, um, other people also like to call it your, your higher self, or, well yeah, that's the same thing, <laughs> but essentially, um, the way that I really want to uh, talk about it today is to talk about it in the sense that it is yourself. And that's what I mean by a sense of um, unison or a sense of union between this higher self and yourself that you are functioning as in your day-to-day -day life. Lately, I've been feeling like the higher self and my day-to-day -day self is actually not, it's actually not separate. And the realization and the recognition of this led me to reflect on all the times that I used to and still sometimes, though to a lesser degree, feel a sense of separation between the higher self that we, some people say, are connected to God or connected to the source or to nature or to the universe or to consciousness whatever word you want to use because i know that different words have different connotations and different kind of feelings that they bring up in people so whatever this higher totality is whatever you want to call that that so the higher self is connected to this totality and it's almost like this higher self is um, this bridge between the totality and our day-to-day -day self and when we are feeling like those three levels if you want to just call it that um, when we are feeling like there's actually a differentiation between these three levels there is a sense of separation that is created just through our thought processes that they are separate and they're different tiers and layers that one is below the other or whatever and I really want to share that upon taking a curious approach of going hmm well what if the totality the higher self and just myself day to day is actually not separate what if it is actually one thing? What if the totality is simultaneously the higher self and the everyday self and everything else that we see around this beautiful world of ours? Right now, I'm... Ooh, that's so pretty. I saw this before. What if everything is connected? What if everything truly is one and not just in a hallmark statement, but actually? And what's been really magical for me is that it I'm seeing that as the truth. And so I really want to invite each and every single one of you, myself included, to try as an experiment and try it in a light-hearted way, not so much critically or um, not so much with a sense of cynicism or judgment or, oh, how can that possibly be? Or that makes no sense. Sometimes things just don't make sense, but it's happening, you know? So I really want to invite everyone to Get a sense of what it's like if who you are right now, who you imagine yourself to be if you improved on all the things that you in your mind think that you need to improve on, and this totality, everything. What if all of that was actually one? 
one moving totality and it's being expressed as you, as me, as the trees, as the sun. What if? Just what if? And really get a sense and really feel into that. And you can share what that's like for you with me or with your friends or with your diary, with your journal, um, with an animal, with a plant, whatever. But do it with yourself first really truly get a first-hand subjective experience of this oneness because only from this sense this inherent knowing of this oneness can there be any sort of refraction of separation right so thank you for listening i love you so so much and have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful August 2017.